see that uh, we don't follow a specific rhythm, but we just follow the words as they come. Now, if you look at the board, again, you'll see a very simple text, uh, one that um, requires no uh, ornamentation, in fact, and yet it's probably one of the most important texts in the Bible, if not the most important. Uh, it's been traditionally used uh, to introduce prayer uh, for many, many centuries. Um, it's used uh, in Judaism, in uh, the uh, daily prayers, where they say, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. I'm using here a Yahovah, instead of Adonai. If you look here, you find the words Shema. The first one, word Shema, is here. Here is the consonant. It looks like a tooth. It's called Shin. And you have the vowel under it. And then the M, name, the vowel under it, and it ends with Ayin. In red, we have the note, the musical sign, the Masoretic sign that indicates the note. And we'll start with the uh, tonic, and we go to this note. It's the fourth, uh, uh, sorry, the fifth degree on your diatonic scale. And we sing that same note all the way over to here, where it changes again. We have a red one. Here we have the word Yisrael. Uh, we have our consonants here and our vowels under them, and then the musical song. The same way all the way through, here is the name of God, and we come down from our rest in the middle of the uh, verse to the fourth degree, uh, and then Eloheinu on the, we have the beginning here, uh, we've accidentally erased part of our 
a sign that we need a little dot uh, under here, like that. Uh, and uh, we change again to the fifth degree, our G sharp on the He, Elohim. And again, we have the name of God and going down to the fourth degree again, the red one, and the word one here, Echad. And again, the red indication of our end note, our tonic, which is E. So it's Shema, Shema, Yisrael, Yehovah, Eloheinu, Yehovah, Echad. Now that's uh, very easy to sing, very easy to uh, understand. And uh, we can take it uh, looking at the board and following along with the uh, ukulele, if we like. Shema Yisrael to do is get a Hebrew Bible and start working. <laughs> 